This is the um, wooden cabinet and the, the, the glass shelves and the light here. I've turned the light off because it just is such a big bright orange light that it will um, completely confuse what I'm trying to show you. This is part of a series of those plates I was saying um, that look as if they've been under the ocean for ages. So this will be gold or silver and this will be made as um, gold or silver and this will be made sort of like a sort of barnacled area. And I put these in last night, I made them last night, but I will leave them in anyway. Um, this one is a little tray, like that. I like these. And I make all the um, papier-mâché card, so everything is based on paper and glue. And so I just layer and layer papier-mâché together and then cut it out. And then I think I've got a video I can show you where I cut out the edges and then attach them. And then when that's dried, it's quite hard, I put that on. And I can sand that down if I want to, or I can just coat it with layers of gesso and smooth it. I haven't decided yet. That's not going to be one of these Ocean Treasure series. Um, and then I've got others just in stages. This one is still quite... No, it won't come out. It's still quite damp, unfortunately. It's attached to the bottom, which is what I want it to be, otherwise it would be very um, wonky. Same thing here. This is made with layers. Now, because that's... The thing about papier-mâché is that, you know, I've got an indentation there, and if I was a purist, I'd think, well, that ought to be flat. But actually, I'm not, so it doesn't have to be. And also, it gives me so much room for other things. You see, I could put some paint on there and just cover that area there with resin and it would look like a pool of water. And I still haven't decided where the, I'm going with this yet. That's got to dry out. That's one using up just the last bit of the um, papier-mâché pulp last night. And that hasn't got far, but you can do it in stages. And then this one is a mould. So that's all it needs to be, because that will then be used to make bowls on top of. A lot of these started off as moulds, so that's what they were going to be, but got, I got carried away because they suddenly became something else. And this is another one of the treasures, which I can... I'm very looking forward to doing these. And this is the one that we've just made. So that's wet and ready to go in. And it's, it's quite beautiful. It actually almost looks like the sun when the sea's gone out. So I'm working on a, a sort of sea theme. Ancient Voyages. Yeah, Ancient Voyages is a good title. Okie dokie.